First of all, you have been to the Twin Cities probably like three times in the last two years? Probably. I mean, I don't even know. I, I've, I've toured a lot over the past few years, but I've been in the Twin Cities uh, so many times. Um, it's good to be back. Well, which means you love it. You were at the State Fair yeah. a couple of years ago. Yeah. You got some deep fried food. It's all about food on the stick at the fair. You had some, right? I don't remember. It was, I don't remember uh, what I got. I'm sure you had something because it's delicious and it's coming back in August. I'm inviting you personally to be my cool. guest at the fair this year. Cool. So come on out if you get a sec. Will do. Uh, the tour is going well. Yeah. Um, thoughts on everything so far? How how happy are you from the success at the beginning of this tour to now? And if you could go back and do something different so far on this tour, what would it be? Um. Well. The success of this tour exceeded like anything that I was expecting. So it's definitely been my most successful tour, and that's always really, really exciting. Yeah. Um, if I could go back and do anything, um, I don't really know that there'd be a lot that I would change. Um, yeah, I, maybe add a cover song if yeah. I could, but I have so many great songs in my set list that I love to perform that like, I don't even do a cover song. Cover song, you pick one right now. Let's say we were going to acapella a cover song right now, what would it be? Oh, I don't know. I'd have to think about that one. I don't know. No, I'm even trying to think of something. What about everybody? Yeah, no, that was yeah. what I was, Cotton Eye Joe is like, for the yeah. I was going to say. But. Is that your jam? Yeah. Like if, you're, like if you're hanging out, let's say you're at home, downtime, driving with your friends, you're like, oh my god, guys. Hey, mom, hey, mom. That's kind of, kind of, no, that's exactly, I mean, it's kind of what it sounds like, exactly what it sounds like. Uh, on tour, I mean, obviously home is different. Mm -hmm. Your friends are around you, your family's around you, whatever food you want is for the most part around you. What do you have on tour that you don't have at home? Like, do you have to give yourself an extra tree or something like that? Um, what you don't have on tour, or what you have on tour. Yeah. Um. That you don't have at home, like something you give yourself on tour. Um, I'd always like to give myself gifts, you know, at the end of a, a long stretch of something. Yeah. Um, it's an excuse to go on vacation, <laughs> so um, I'm looking forward to that, planning a vacation. Um, yeah, and, it, and also just like getting to see my fans every day, and it sounds really cheesy and silly, but like the adrenaline rush is so much better than anything. You have a sick connection with your fans, and this is something uh, I had the chance to chat with you kind of a while ago over the phone, um, and I had asked you about, I mean, your fans are for lack of a better word, rabid. You know what I mean? Like, they they don't just buy your music. I mean, they are Demi Lovato fans. Yeah. Why why are they so hardcore for you versus, like, you know, people that are just so-so fans of other artists? Because I think so-so fans of other artists don't really have that connection with the artists. I've opened up a lot, and I've had people, since I've been so honest and open about my story, and really, you know, I, I'm... I'm an activist, I stand up for the things that I believe in. And so when I am passionate about things, my fans that relate to me are also passionate. So it's nice to know that I have fans out there that are going to support me no matter what. And it really does feel like I have an army behind me. It's pretty Totally, funny. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and that's something cool uh, about your fans. And it's actually, it's, it's a compliment to you because a lot of artists kind of hide behind the fame and the celebrity. Of, I mean, you wear everything on your sleeve, your your victories and your losses and things you've gone through and your and how you've per, uh, persevered through them. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So I have tons of respect to you for that. Well, thank you. Demi Lovato, she's rocking the X tonight. Hanging with Katie WB, thank you. Thank you.